What is going on friends, we are back with OT around a 7 losers bracket, a game 2 between Empo and Siduma. If you guys have uh, seen game 1, uh, I'll link it in the description or at the end of the video, you can check it out. Uh, that was with my friends, but they talked over each other, so game 2 I'm gonna have to re right now. Um, so yeah, if my mouse hovers over a moment, I don't talk ho about the mon that I have over it's because I'm renarrating over my old recording. So yeah, no CG Mars team it was used in the snake he used it in the snake game. Uh, he Z move Kartana, Scarf Keldeo. Um the Coco was like physical with U-turn, it's all I remember. Um probably Rock's Pearl, this is only Rocker. A Solvis Megina. And a Damp Rock a Pelipper. And yeah, let's talk about Empo's teams like the HO team that he uses quite a lot. I think he has used something like this before. It's like Scarf Lily. Uh, sash drill with rocks. The Greninja's either also Sash Lee, uh, like Spikes, T Spikes, Taunt, Ice Beam, either that with Sash, or it could also be like um, Z Move Greninja. The Magina is usually Sugar Berry on this, on this on, like Ampo uses Sugar Berry, I think, on these teams, yeah. And the, it's Mega Gyarados with uh, Dragon Dance and either Sub or Taunt, I don't remember. And the the Mimikyu is, could also be li uh, could be Life Orb or Z Move, it depends. Like either the Mimikyu or the Greninja is a Z Move user, I think. So yeah, um, Mimikyu can like um, spam Shadow Claw this game because Sijima has no good Ghost Resist. I mean, Katana has good physical book, so I guess he can kind of switch in. Or well, Pelipper, if it's defensive, can also switch in, but like Scarf Lily is going to be a, a huge threat late game. So yeah, Sijima is probably going to switch out into his Magirna here. And Empo is either going to just weaken the gear um, with like a Psychic, or he's going to... Um, Switch into Excadrill predicting that. So he does go into Drill. Let's see if Sijuma went into uh, gear. He did just do that. So now uh, Ampo is most likely going to go for rocks. Sijuma can either go into Pelipper or he can attack the the Excadrill with like HP Fire. Or if he has like Fighting Move like Focus Best or RSV, he can also go for that. Um, but usually I only see um, HP Fire on gear. But I think in his Snake game he also had Fighting Coverage on this gear. So he does stay in predicting the rocks and he has oh yes RSV okay. He does get good damage off on the Excadrill. Uh, now he's gonna switch into either his Pelipper or his Kartana. Um I think Empo is just gonna go for Earthquake here. Yeah, the Pelipper is gonna have defog, so if Sijuma can get rid of the of the drill, he can defog. But the thing is it's gonna be hard to get an opportunity to get a defog off because Empo's team um, that's like a lot of offensive ones that put a lot of pressure, so like you can't really get a defog off for free that easy. So yeah, this katana can just go for leaf blade here. I assume Ampo is gonna go to his gear. Mm -hmm. And this is Z move, like I said. I've already seen this um, this team used in Snake. Um, so uh, all pummeling, it's a Z second sword. Might be a roll actually. I'm not, since since the gear is offensive, all pummeling might actually just kill. Um, I think it's offensive gear with like um, no HP investment because like it's HO. Um, so yeah, if he, if he can run the Kalk and if uh, all the permanent kills, he can just go for that. If it doesn't kill, he can switch um, to Swampert maybe. Yeah, I would go to Swampert if all the permanent doesn't kill. He obviously has uh, enough time to run the Kalk. So he does go for pummeling, so he's probably... Um, he probably knows that it kills, he has run the Kalk. And now he's gonna go into either Scarf Tapu Lele here or Greninja works as well. Yeah, Lele or Greninja are gonna come out here, I'm pretty sure. Because Mimikyu, um, you don't wanna lose your disguise if you're Emperor, you can still keep the disguise intact. So I, I would think he would go to Lele here. I mean, I don't think it's a confirmed Scarf yet, but like I said, I've seen him use this team. I think it wasn't an earlier round. Maybe one one was maybe one one was different, but I think it was the same team. Okay, let's just go into Lily. Uh, and Psychic is pretty free here. You can just click Psychic. I assume Sijuma is just gonna switch into his Assault as Magina here. Uh, it's, it it eats every hit pretty much. Um, and Ampo cannot risk going for Psyshock in case Katana stays in, because I think Psyshock wouldn't kill. Because Katana's fist death is actually decent. Katana's death is pretty trash, but the fist death is uh, pretty decent, yeah. So the gear is gonna come out here and eat a, eat a psychic to the face. I don't think you want to double in this scenario when if you ample because um, there's a plus one katana in front of you and if you double and it stays in you get blown away. So he does just uh, go into gear, gets crit and that still does nothing. That shows how stupid bulky a solvest gear is. And I would either go for a volt switch or HP fire here. He does ice beam, okay. 
Uh, Ice Beam was a mid ground, I guess, because it would still. Um, it would also hit the X control. And it would also. Um, yeah, I said HP Fire, but I, didn't, I don't even know if he has HP Fire. We should Ice Beam and RS3 now. But yeah, Greninja is. Um, does Greninja kill this Magiena if it's, if it's Z move? The thing is, if this gear gets weakened, uh, Scarf, like I said earlier, Scarf Lele becomes a huge problem. So I don't know if Sijima wants to stay in here. Like, the only way he would stay in is if he predicts, like, a spike, but there's there's a Z move. Oh, it's, all, it's Z low kick, right? It's gonna do a lot. Yeah, okay, so now the gear is super low. He Ice Beams. I think he predicted him to go for a spike, um, because then Ice Beam would have been super effective. So he gets an unfortunate freeze there. So now his gear is still alive. But the thing is, yeah, like, I, like I talked about this at team preview right or like early game that the lily is going to become a problem when the gear gets low like he has scarf caldeo but the the lily is still healthy so um i think Sh shadow claw is fine here he obviously cannot shadow sneak because the rain is up so yeah ample is going to shadow claw here uh, like i said he has no ghost resist um it's not really worth it keeping the gear at 14 percent because after rocks it it's at 8%. Like, it obviously doesn't check the Lily anymore at this point. He also doesn't have any Wish Pass or any healing, like, especially healing Wish. He couldn't push it up at this point, but he also doesn't have any healing Wish support to get it back healthy. So he just sacks it to a Shadow Claw. And it's not Life Orb. Wow. Is it Lumberry? What is it? Like, the Guninja was Z move, so what is this item? I guess it could be Red Card for, like, to stop setup sweepers from the opponent. We have seen Empo use, like, a Red Card Shuckle uh, in round 6 versus, versus Ojama. My man Colin helped me out, guest narrate that. That was an interesting game for sure. <laughs> like, yeah, like that was fire. Like when when Emp when Ojama had like a Zardex and he got red carded out by the Chuckle, that was fire. Um, but yeah, I assume Sijuma is gonna go to um, Coco and Yujan or Kartana and Leaf Blade. I like Smart Strike is fine as well. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna go Coco. Just to like break the disguise like you done is to break the disguise because um you don't want to go for electric move because there's still a drill in the back and if he's if the mimic stays in you still break the disguise you can like um then decide if you want to like um what you want to go to because i think swampert could swampert could maybe take two hits from mimic um especially after mega wolves it bulks get it bu its bulk gets higher right that's how it works it should be how it works <laughs> like i never use mega swamp but i've only used like rain once like, I have used it a bit more than once, but once in, like, a two-game was my friend Dennis. Like, a two-game that we have in my Discord. But, yeah, I assume, yeah, he makes a Coco play. I assume he's going to U-turn because he doesn't want to let the Driller in. Like I said, this is a physical Coco, so I noticed that. I know it's not Specs because he has used this team in Snake before. So, he can go into his Kartana or Keldeo. He goes Kartana. Um, he can click Leaf Blade here. As he has no... And has no Grass Resist. Uh, I said Grass. I meant... Yeah, Grass was correct. For some reason, I sort of mixed up the names. So yeah, Leaf Blade picks off the picks off the Excadrill. So Scarf Lily comes out and clicks Psychic here, and it claims a kill. Um, he's either gonna have to sack his Pelipar or Katana. Um, I feel like Coco is still pretty valuable, so I don't think he's gonna sack that. But yeah, he can sack Pelipar and then go into Swampert, and then click like Waterfall or Aqua Tail. The Katana. Um, Can still be nice, um, especially if he can break the disguise from Mikyu. Katana cannot get Shadow Sneak uh, if Terrain is up. So like even if he gets a bit lower in Shadow Sneak range, he cannot get Shadow Sneak. Like let's say he comes in... No, I don't think he's gonna get into Shadow Sneak range, never mind. Because rocks only do 6. I think Shadow Sneak does like maybe 8 into Katana. Uh, I hope we will see the item from Mimikyu later though, like I really wanna know the item. But yeah, he's just gonna Psychic here obviously. Um, no. No resist anymore since the gear is dead. I mean, Katana technically resists Psychic, but it doesn't really resist it. You guys know how piss Prisp left this Mon has. So yeah, I would assume that he sacks the Pelipper since that, yeah, Katana is still kind of useful. Like when rocks up, I mean, Pelipper can maybe take one hit from Mikua Gyarados, but... Depending on its set, let's say the Pelipper is Roost, U-Turn, Scald, Defog, um, that means it cannot really touch the Gyarados, and if the Gyarados has Substitute, that would mean it could set up on the Pelipper. So that's that's one reason to sack Pelipper, because if Pelipper is not around, Gyarados cannot use it as setup for her, right? So that would, be, well, that, that would be one reason to sack Pelipper right here. 
depending on his set. Obviously, I don't remember that set actually. I don't remember most of this team, but at that set, I don't remember. So we can see his timer is going super low here. Um, yeah, this is quite intense. The game is not over yet. Um, if you guys saw game one, see Juma won that. So Empo has to win this to bring it to a game three. Okay, so he does make the Pelipper play. Psychic is just gonna blow this away. Pelipper does not have the best spadef, and it's Psychic Drain boosted. And he's gonna go into his uh, Swampert here, I would assume, and click the water move. I've already talked about this like <laughs> one or two minutes ago. And Ember one obviously is gonna keep the, the Lily around because it can win him the game for him. Um, so I assume Ember, if he has Intimidate especially, he's gonna go to Gyarados here. And a water move with Intimidate, how much is it gonna do to Gyarados? Maybe 30%? Maybe 33%? I don't, I'm not that good. It's just a head calc. Like, I'm not super good with head calcs. 26, okay. I thought it did 32. Okay, like, I was close, kinda. Not really. <laughs> but, yeah, the Gyarados. Um, yeah, like. It's, the Gyarados is just gonna go for Waterfall here, I would assume, right? Or DD? He gets flinched, that definitely sucks. Um, because now Gyarados loses one we want to Swampert. Um, maybe Empo is gonna switch into Mimikyu here and then come back in to get the Intimidate again. And try to set up on this Pert, but I don't think it ma uh, The reason why he's not Mega Evolving, by the way, is, uh, if you guys are wondering... He, he doesn't want to get hit um, from Kaldeo's Secret Sword super effectively, is what I assume. Um, yeah. Like, I don't think... Now he mega evolves to, to get more physical bulk. I don't think there's a point in dragon dancing because... Yeah, yeah, he just attacks. There's no point in dragon dancing because... Scarf Keldeo still outspeeds you, right? And now he can offquake because the Gyarados mega evolved, so he doesn't have to go for water move anymore. And... He, yeah, he's red card. Well, actually, yeah, I predicted that correct. Fire. So, um... He sexes Gyarados and then he's gonna go into uh, his Lele and get a kill. Um, he's just gonna smash like a leaf blade, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Lele is gonna click Psychic here and get another kill. Um, Sijuma is gonna sack his Swampert, I think, because the rain is gonna end next turn anyway, so he doesn't have swim, Swift Swim. And I think his Swampert is obviously in range from from Lele because it took their crunch on the Gyarados. So, yes, uh, Empo might be able to win with this Lele now. Yeah. Or not, not might be able, you should have it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see, so he can go, like, Scarf Kill you, obviously outspeeds, but Surf only does around half, I think. And... Uh, like, he might have to switch out later when the Coco comes in to, to reset the, ter the terrain, because he might need the terrain to get certain kills. I don't remember how healthy the Mons are. So yeah, now, since he changed the terrain, Coco might be able to live a Psychic. Um, so I assume that he's... If it doesn't kill, he's obviously gonna run the card. Wait, does it even? No, no, it matters. He needs this. Yeah, he needs health on this. That's why he switched. Yeah, he need like he needs it healthy be so that he's not in range from Scarf Keldeo. So I completely agree with switching there. Yeah. Um, yeah. If he stayed in, would have been a choke. And now he can just Shadow Sneak, get the chip that he needs. And even if the Coco switches out after Rocks and when Psychic Turin gets reset, uh, I think Tapu Lily should have this. Yeah. So you can just Shadow Sneak here. Um, Sijuma sex the Kartana. Uh, so yeah, he can Shadow Sneak again to kill it. And yeah, Kelly is gonna click Surf or Hydro Pump here. And yeah, after Rocks... Yeah, the, the Lily is gonna set the Psychic Terrain and then the Coco is gonna set the Electric Terrain, but after Rocks I think it's in range from Psychic. Um, I don't know if it was in range earlier. But it might have been in like a roll earlier and Empo switched out to take make the Coco take Rocks again. Just so that it's guaranteed in range. Mm -hmm. So he goes on the top of Lily here. He clicks Psychic twice and he wins the game. As uh, so it eats up the Surf, does around half. And I'm pretty sure that Coco dies to this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. There's gonna be a uh, game three since Ample wins here with the Scarf Lily. Obviously, right? I'm not gonna fuck up again. And yeah, game three is also gonna be, uh, be me, just me. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments. I know most of you guys enjoy it better if it's. Um, 
like some of the guys that I have in the video that talk over each other and it gets annoying but yeah let me know again if you want people in the video I will get them but only a few like if I get too many at the same time um, like they're too wild right they talk over each other but yeah peace out friends um, stay tuned for game 3 between Empo and Sijuma gonna bring that to you to you and yeah have a fantastic day smash that like button if you enjoyed this videos i'm putting a lot of time in here for you and peace out friends